You know, it is God's desire that we would live an abundant and a victorious Christian life. And if we're going to live that liberated Christian life, then we need to add up the facts, the fact that we are dead, buried, and resurrected with Christ. But once we add up the fact, we need then to act upon those facts. In other words, when the flesh comes knocking at the door of your life, saying to your mind, be critical of that person or that thing, then we need to act upon the fact that we are dead, buried, and resurrected, and we need to say, no, I am dead to a critical spirit. When the flesh says, do not forgive them for what they have done to you, then you need to act on the fact that you are dead, buried, and resurrected, and you need to say, no, I'm dead to sin, and this is an illegitimate attempt to bring me under sin's control. You see, when the devil wants to resurrect your forgotten and forgiven past, attempting to riddle you with guilt and ruin you with shame, then act on the fact and remember that your sinful past was buried with Christ and you were raised a new creation in Christ Jesus. You see, when the flesh tempts you with an immoral thought saying, take a long, lustful look at her or at him, then act on the fact and say, no, I have died to the lust of the flesh. You see, it's only when we reckon on the fact that we are crucified, buried, and resurrected with Christ will our bodies be kept from becoming instruments of unrighteousness. The early church father Augustine understood what it meant to reckon yourself dead to sin. Early in his life, one of his former sinful companions, a prostitute, encountered him on the street, and with a smile she said, Augustine, it is I. He looked at her and he replied, but it is not I, and then he turned away. You see, Augustine acted on the fact that he was dead, buried, and resurrected with Christ, and as a result, he kept his body from becoming an instrument of unrighteousness. And the same is true with us. You see, to live a liberated, successful, and that abundant, overcoming life, we must act on the fact that we are in Christ, dead to sin's power, and delivered from our sin-stained past, and that Christ is in us, enabling and empowering us to live a new quality of life. And my prayer is that this podcast would be a blessing to you. In fact, if this podcast has been a blessing to you, can I encourage you to share this podcast with your friends on your Facebook? Just click share and be a blessing to somebody else. And may the Spirit of God take the Word of God and bless you today.